Hi, everybody. This is Yuri from Sure. We get a lot of questions about mic levels, line levels, and instrument levels, and what the differences are. So let's take a look. In the sound world, when we're talking about level, all we're doing is asking how strong is that audio signal? And we have a lot of different ways to measure it. In audio, we generally want to do all of our work at the line level, which is roughly one volt, a little bit higher than one volt on average. But we'll come back to that in a little bit. The signal coming out of a microphone, like this KSM9HS right in front of my face, is much, much, much lower than what you would get in a line level signal. If you ever want to know how low that number actually is, you can look up the microphone sensitivity rating. This is where the engineers throw a one kilohertz sine wave at the microphone at a very, very specific sound pressure and find out how much electricity comes out of it. In this case, in the KSM9HS, I have it set to hypercardioid mode, and you can see that we get about 2.99 millivolts. This means that a line level signal is up to a thousand times stronger than a microphone level signal. This means all microphone level signals have to be amplified. Different microphones will have different sensitivities, but they're all going to be in the very, very low millivolt range. These really, really low voltages is why almost all microphone signals travel down a balanced XLR cable and almost all microphone inputs on an interface are balanced XLR inputs. Instrument levels are the levels produced by the magnetic pickups of a guitar or a bass. Now, these levels vary widely, and they depend on what kind of pickup you're using. However, they're always going to be higher than the mic signal level and lower than line level. It is important to note that instrument level signals are high impedance and they travel via unbalanced cables. So most interfaces will have their own input for instruments. These inputs will either be labeled DI or high Z, or they'll have a little picture of a guitar or might even say inst for instrument. If you want your instrument level signal to be balanced before it goes into the interface, you can use a DI box, which will not only balance the signal, but also bring it down to microphone level. Keep in mind that now, because your signal is mic level instead of instrument level, you will have to use a balanced XLR cable into the microphone input. Now that we have our microphones and guitars plugged into our interface and amplified to line level, we are ready to record and work with the audio. But what about keyboards? Well, good news, because almost all keyboards already operate at line level, which means you have to plug them into one of the line inputs of your interface. Keep in mind that a lot of interfaces have combination inputs where you have both mic and line or mic and instrument, and there's going to be a little switch that will decide which one it is. So what happens if I take the wrong signal level and put it into a certain input? Well, if it's a line level input and it's an instrument level signal, you're probably going to get very, very bad quality audio. Uh, if it's a mic level signal going into a line level input, the line level input is expecting something that's a thousand times uh, higher voltage. So you're probably not going to hear anything at all. Of course, if I go the other way and send a line level signal into a microphone input, which is expecting something a thousand times lower, then that could cause all sorts of problems and a lot of distortion. So there you have it. Keep track of your levels and your inputs and stay out of trouble. And if you have any more questions or want some more details, let us know in the comments.